Hi, welcome back to day four of our AI agent learning journey. In day three, we talked about what are APIs, how they work and why they are super important to build automations. Today, we are going a little bit deeper. We are going to understand the brain of our AI agents, which is very important to do any kind of task. Here, we call it as LLM. Maybe you might have heard this name here and there, but today we are going to understand a bit more deeper about these LLMs. By the end of this video, you'll learn what an LLM is, how it works, what tokens are, and why all this matters when we build our own AI agent. Okay, what exactly is an LLM? LLM stands for Large Language Model. That's just a fancy name for the brain that powers tools like ChatGPT. It's the thing that reads our message, thinks about it, and gives us a smart reply. So when we build an AI agent, for example, let's consider we have a travel assistant or chatbot. So here the thinking part is done by LLM. So here in this case, we can call LLM as the brain of for chatbot or travel assistant. Okay, currently there are many models available in the market like ChatGPT, DeepSeek, Grok, Gemini, Claude, Llama and many more. Uh, some are closed source like GPT and Claude and some are open source like Llama uh, which we can run on our own computer uh, totally for free. Okay, we have so many models available in the market but let's consider uh, one example to make it simple here uh, we consider llama 2 from meta because it's open source and also we can look inside and understand how it works under the hood and now here is the cool part at its core an llm is made up of just two files parameter file and run file parameter file is a big file that contains all the knowledge that the model has learned for example llama 2 has a version with 70 billion parameters those 70 billion little things that help the model predict the next word or sentence okay how was that file created this parameter file was made by training the model using around 10 terabytes of text. That's a lot of text from websites, Wikipedia, books, and maybe many other sources. So now all this data will be trained to the models using powerful GPUs. And now you might understand why Nvidia stock went up like crazy. Once the training is done, all the knowledge will be compressed into a single file that will be around 140 GB. So it's stuffing like a giant library into a super zipped file. Now here comes the second file that is run file. This one is small, just a few hundred lines of code usually written in Python on RC, it's the file that runs our model. Think of it like a remote control that turns the brain on and let it answer questions. Okay, now we, let's look at the steps to train the model. We basically have three main steps pre-training, fine-tuning and reinforcement learning. Pre-training is where the model learns the language. It reads massive amounts of text like books, articles, websites. It figures out patterns like if someone says X, the next word might be Y. This step needs a tons of GPU and time. And the second step is fine-tuning. We teach the model how to behave like a helpful assistant. We give it examples like what's the capital of India? It says New Delhi, about 100,000 examples like this and this step helps the model to give useful answers, not just the random guesses. And the final step is reinforcement learning. Here we let humans rate the model answers like whether they are good or bad, uh, correct or wrong, like whatever it may be. We will let the humans uh, to rate the answers. Um, this teaches the model which responses are good and which ones are not and over time it becomes uh, more helpful and less confusing. Okay, now let's talk about tokens. This is a super important part to understand. Tokens are like chunks of text. The model doesn't read full words. It breaks the text into smaller pieces, which we call them as tokens. Okay, now let's take a sentence. What should I eat today? This sentence might become around six tokens. Each token gets converted into number that the model can understand. Because remember, model doesn't understand words it only understands numbers and one more thing every model has a token limit let's take gpt4 turbo it can handle up to 128,000 tokens that's around 100,000 words if our conversation goes beyond that the model starts forgetting what was said earlier so if you are chatting and the model forgets your last message it's probably it might have hit the token limit this is very important when we build long conversations or complex automations and one more thing about tokens is we have tokens cost if you are using a model like chat gpt through api we pay per token. We pay for both the tokens we send and the tokens it replies with. So now here we have to understand a long message equal to more tokens then it becomes more cost. But if we can use open source model like Llama on our own computer, then we can use it for no cost. Now let's do a quick recap on what we have learned today. Every AI agent needs a brain and that brain is an LLM. LLMs are made of two files, a huge parameter file and a small run file. These LLMs are trained in three steps, pre-training, fine-tuning, reinforcement learning. They use tokens which are like chunks of text turned into numbers. Each model has a token limit and some charge per token. And finally, open source models are 
are free to use and we can run them locally on our own computer so that's all about day four if you have something to say please comment down and if you find this video helpful like and share it to your friends and lastly don't forget to subscribe